Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for Black Lightning Season 3 Episode 5. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. Now, I know I've said this just about every episode this season, but Odell has to go. Now, I don't care how he goes at this point. I don't care is the rarest bee that has been known to ban, the last one, if you get bit by it, whether you was allergic or not, you die. I don't care if he chokes on his own food. I don't care if the whole Pierce family get together and lightning him up and thunder clapping him up and Lynn coming on and doggone and shooting him up with some drug that he didn't got her hooked on. I don't care if Khalil does it. I don't care if he's just walking down the street and has a massive heart attack. I just want Odell gone. Because he didn't manage just to separate this whole family. By separating the family, he's managed to... When he separated them, he, won, was able to get older in. Now she, she a dope fiend. Jennifer, she doggone her running behind him, believing what he's saying and not thinking, okay, why is this man letting me use my powers and do all these things when, when my parents don't want me to do that? Why does this adult want me to do that? Anissa slash Blackbird, she out here on these rogue missions because her daddy ain't nowhere telling her not to do this. So... Him taking, you know, the parents out of the figure, now mama, mama Dauphin. Daddy trying to hold the family together, not realizing that the mama is a Dauphin right now. Y'all, Odell needs to go. Like, I don't know what went on in his past to where he's acting like he is right now, but I am not here for it. So, we start off with Tavon. He's making a video and trying to let his parents know that he's alright. Now I'm going to need somebody to tell him he don't need to be making these videos because you know all they got to do is just you know, scan Google Maps and put it through their you know algorithm or whatever that machine and they can find out where you at. Okay? I'm going to need you not to do that. They'll be able to track you down. Now Odell, he's going through his little filtering system and trying to figure out who Blackbird is. And I'm like, she got a mask on. Yes, her voice is distorted, but her eyes is clearly Anissa. But he didn't figure out that, hey, it is Anissa. Okay, that's who Blackbird's real identity is. So now he mad. Now, Khalil, he in here fighting these two dudes. Now, the new dudes, two dudes like, look at you, mad up. Now, they don't know that Khalil has been programmed to be able to do 23 forms of martial art. I don't know all of them, but he able to do that. And, like, it's just him alone, and he's working these dudes. And at one point, he just touches dude and, like, venoms him. And the dude is, like, choking and gasping and doing all these other things. And Cleo just as calm as can be because he, he's almost robot right now. Like, he he's basically a robot. He has no, basically no mind of his own. It seems like he's programmed. We know he is human, but the way he acts is very robotic. And anyways, now the other dude, and you see your friend or, you know, whoever this dude is, you see the dude that you walked in with to fight Khalil, you seen him get venomed, can't breathe, all this. So why are we walking up to Khalil like we gonna do something? I don't know, but and you know, luckily they got an antidote to you know make sure a dude is all right and everything. But I was like, yeah, why are you rolling up on him? He just venomed the dude you walked in with. Do you want this to happen to you too? Like I was confused. Where am I at? Now, he wants Khalil to go after Blackbird. I was like, that's not going to be good. Cause I like you, Khalil. Even though you don't know who you are. I like the old Khalil. But you're not going to be out here taking down Blackbird. Slash Thunder. Slash Anissa. You're not doing that. Lynn, she's having a dream that she didn't push one of the medics so hard that she just blew up and the only thing left to her was her shoes and some like black pellets so she wake up out of the night waiting and stressed out and everything talking about something she need to go to the lab now jefferson yeah you don't notice that she acting different that she always run into the lab yes she is a doctor and she wants to find things out but she's acting very jittery she going into her purse she's getting her fix i don't want to say that because it's a limb but this is what she doing she got her dog going in 
green light in her purse so she can have it for she can get her a quick little taste. She run into the lab in the middle of the night and he not thinking that that's weird. Now, me and my husband, we've been on, we only been married for five years. But let my husband wake up in the middle of the night talking about something. Oh yeah, I gotta go to the store. I don't know what you need to go to the store this time of night for. We got everything you need. And what you don't need can't wait until the morning. He not gonna be waking up in the middle of the night going to the store. Now, he will wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and be watching Martin and laughing like this is the first time he sees it. Like it's the first time he saw it. But like getting up in the middle of the night and going out of the house. No, I'll be like, what's good? Something not right over here. I, mm mm. Something not right. Now, I don't know what's going on with Jennifer. I don't know if it's that new suit that Odell got her or what. But, you know, she out here shocking, accident, shocking people accidentally. Like, she's li trying to listen to Jefferson, but his voice is distorted. Like, a lot of things is going on. But she said, you know what, I'm sick right now. So, yeah, uh, I can't. He was like, okay, let me, mm-hmm, you ain't sick, carry your tail on to school. But she was like, I don't feel good. Like, it's like, my powers is going off, daddy. I, I can't do this at school. I can't go to school my powers acting like it. He could have said that, but, mm-mm, he just checked that for, mm, -mm you, you feel fine. Go on, go on, get ready for school. Now, Tavar, Tavon's parents are under the assumption that the ACA has killed him because, you know, they picked him up and it's like, he is not a matter. We had him checked two weeks ago or two months ago, however long ago it was, was it? Well, like a month ago, and he did not test positive for the medicine. So some student didn't ride on him and said he was, and I was like, I think it's curly haired dude. Still don't know his name, but I think it's curly haired dude. So, yeah. But Jefferson's like, no, I don't think they even killed him. Like, he's trying, he knows that Tavon is alright, but, you know, he can't tell them that. Jennifer's, her powers is acting up again. She is school typing and, like, her arm, you know, lick, what, what does she have? I guess she's lightning. She's starting to light up and she asked Curly her dude for his jacket. She's trying to say that she was out, I guess, drinking and partying and that's why, you know, she a little hungover, but no, her powers is out of whack. And it's messing her whole body up. And she just messed around and messed up every computer that in the classroom up. I was like, that's going to cost a lot of money. A lot of money. But, you know, her powers is all under control, out, all out of control and everything. Child, they got Tobias out here looking awful, don't they? Child, he looked black and blue like he was on death's doors. He ain't combed and groomed like he normally is because, you know... He ain't got his storm like I, I, so I'm assuming he's been in there for more than 30 days because Jefferson and Lynn were in there 30 days and they've been out with like a week or two now and Tobias was in there longer. So I'm just going to assume that he ain't had that storm in so well, so, you know, his storm to stay alive. So shouldn't he be dead by now? This is what I was thinking, but like she didn't know this patient 78 or patient whatever, 39, whatever was Tobias. Now, she got to give Tobias a serum to make him better. Mm -mm. Now, okay. He bringing up all the kids that she didn't kill. Like, Lynn, like, I know you mad at Tobias because Tobias killed Jefferson's daddy. He just low down dirty dog. He was behind killing Khalil, but you know Khalil's not dead. But, like, you're supposed to wipe this man's arm off when you give him a shot. You're supposed to get you a little alcohol swab at the little package and wipe off his arm so you can give him his injection. That's what you're supposed to do. I know you mad and all, but, you know, we're supposed to go by protocol. Like, really? So... Khalil and Blackbird, they fighting. And poor Tavon, like, he's trying to help. And he ends up hitting Khalil. And Khalil just took it to him. And he didn't, he didn't venom pole um, Tavon. Uh, um, Blackbird, she, you know, he getting the best of her. So she got a thunderclap on him. I'm sorry, my brow is showing. Yeah, but, you know, they was able to get away. But I was like, you weren't able to recognize that was Khalil? I mean, I know it was night and all, but you didn't recognize, recognize that was Khalil? Khalil done got knocked clear on back. Got thunderclap clear on back. 
she was able to like run like I need I don't know who is out there listening but daddy Uncle Gabby I'm gonna need some help right now you know Tavon he he hurt right now so Odell goes to Anissa's house and is surprised that Anissa is there because she's supposed to be over there fresh off of, you know fighting with Khalil or presently fighting with Khalil but you standing at the door like what's good he was like genuinely surprised yeah, like, what was you out here doing before, you know, you had you a shapeshifter? Like, I guess this was he was thinking. Because I guess Grace came along and was like, well, I guess I'm going to be Anissa. Thank you, Uncle Gamby. But anyway, like, he come over, like, you know, asking all these questions and everything else. Like, luckily, we had shapeshifting Grace and Uncle Gamby, you know, in out the... What is her room? We can't call the Bat Cave. Her a little system is called Shonda. So, I don't know what we're going to call her little area where, you know, she get all the information for Uncle Gabby. But we, we, we happy about it. So, Tobias, he out here threatening folks. You laying on my table strapped down. It is not a good idea for you to be threatening my husband. It is not a good idea for me you threatening my kids. Because I can give you a term and make you old again and I'm going to die. Or I can just keep, give you something that just kill you right now. Alright? He talking about something. He get out. He killing Jefferson. And he killing them kids. Of hers. So I was like, oh, okay. This is what we doing? I wouldn't been mad if Lynn had a good dog going and injected him with a bubble of air. And taking him out right then and there. Y'all, Poe po Tavon died from the venom. And and this is mad at Jefferson because she didn't want to bring him back in the first place. It was too risky. She didn't want to do that. So now we gotta tell T Tavon's parents that he has died. Now I'm just gonna say this: Odell is a mad scientist without being a scientist. Cause that's the only thing that I can describe it as. Because you got Lynn knowing that she she on drugs out here performing procedures and working on people. Like, what is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with him? Y'all, he need to go. Somebody take him out now. I don't even care if it's one of your people. I don't care if you trip, fall, and break your neck at this point. Child, I cannot. Now, the students, they are fed up. Because they believe that the ASA are responsible for Tavon dying. Now, Tavon been on there since t t since season one. Now, I hope it is a situation where Tavon, he didn't got him a role in a movie. He's like, it's guaranteed several movies or a guaranteed show with several seasons. But I ain't want Tavon to go. Tavon was a good guy on the show. He stood up for the school. He had always had Jefferson's back. But the kids, they not taking it. The ASA is like, y'all need to get back. Take ASA, then hit one of these students in the head with a gun. So Jefferson steps up like, this is kids. Like, y'all done done too much. Like, yeah, the ASA was responsible because Odell's ASA and Odell gave, you know, Khalil these powers and Khalil killed Tavon. So, yeah, the ASA was responsible. They get to beating on Jefferson. And I'm like, oh, this is what we doing. I'm like, uh-uh. Like, these kids are scared. Like, it wasn't like they just hit him once. They hit him, he got up, hit him again. And, like, they done all just jumped in and started hitting him. Jennifer is seeing this, and she is about to explode. Curly hair do had to take her off to the side. Jefferson is about to charge out. I don't remember the word or if we came to agreement here on my channel. What is it called when Je Jefferson is getting anxious? It's, I don't want to say lightning out. I guess when he's getting charged up or charged. Oh. I don't want to say hulking out because that's what the Hulk does. But like... um when he's getting amped up, I guess that's a good word to say. When he's getting he's getting amped up and he's trying to calm it down because he can't let nobody know he black lightning. Jennifer, she didn't got all kinds of anger and she just lights up. But like, dude, it's like he was able to take the lightning. And I was like, oh, so you better. So are you the one that's responsible for Tavon, um, you know, being taken off and shipped off? Because I think you are. You can't tell me otherwise unless we, we get evidence in that road that we see the actual person that was behind it. But until we did, I think it's curly hair, dude. And she looked at him like, did you do that? Because he was like, and then took it and was standing there like, yep, I absorbed all your energy. I sure did. 
I sure did. Now Jennifer, she goes to check on check Odell because his men attacked Jefferson and his men killed Tavon. He was like, you know, I marched with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I would never stand for a black man getting beat. They will be reprimanded. Next thing you know, Jennifer over there lightning they tails up. I'm like, yeah, this man, all the things your parents told you not to do, this man was like, okay, yeah, you can do that. But, you know, she's a teenager. She's not thinking clearly. And I don't like that. That's another reason why Odell has to go. Now, lastly, they didn't already put out a $50,000 reward against Blackbird. Like, anybody see Blackbird, come get your money. But Henderson, he been working behind the scenes. He didn't grab old two-bit. Yeah, we got the reverend. Yeah, they was over here like, yeah, I mean, y'all got y'all ASA, but yeah, mm, we, we trying to want a better Freeland, and we not getting it. So he was like, you know, we just working together. Look what they did. They didn't beat Poe Jefferson in front of these students. Got them scared. Poe Davon, like, this is the spark that we need to take Freeland back. Are y'all with us? And they was like, yeah. You know, we ain't seen two bits since, what, last season? I'm like, where's two bit been at? But yeah, where Lala at? We seen Lala, what, one, two episodes? Where Lala at? Not that, I mean, it matters, but where Lala at? Yeah. So y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, all means leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so with my beautiful face. Put the video, you can click on it, you can like it. You can share it with your people. You can become one of my peoples. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples. Now, this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.